Batteries. It's been more than 10 years since the first smartphone and we're still struggling to get more than a day of juice. Battery capacity is increasing in our phones and charging speeds are also getting faster. Samsung's a little late to the game here with the Note 10 Plus, but it does more than catch up. Here we have the OnePlus 7 Pro, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, the Note 10 Plus, the Google Pixel 3 XL, the iPhone XS Max, and we put them in a head-to-head -head charging speed test to find the best. For this test, we used all the charging cables and adapters that came in the box for all these devices. So there's no third-party accessories here. What you buy when you get any of these phones, that's the charger that we used. It should be noted that for the iPhone XS Max, you can get a separate fast charger, as well as for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, you can get a 45 watt fast charger, and that will give you even faster charging times. More on that in a bit. For now, let's start the test. So it's around the 10 minute mark, so let's check in. The OnePlus 7 Pro is at 25%, the Galaxy S10 Plus is at 14%, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is at 24%, the Pixel 3 XL is at 18%, and the iPhone XS Max is at 6%. Stiff competition between the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the OnePlus 7 Pro, with the OnePlus taking a slight edge at the moment, but the Galaxy S10 Plus is lagging behind, as you can see, beaten by the Pixel 3 XL, and of course in last place, unsurprisingly, is the iPhone XS Max with a disappointing 6%. As we head over to the 30 minute mark, just wanted to point out that fast charging typically gives you a burst of speed at the beginning when your phone is empty, and that speed sort of tapers off towards the end. All right, 30 minutes, time for the next check-in. The OnePlus 7 Pro is at 59%, the Galaxy S10 Plus is at 39%, the Note 10 Plus is at 68%, the Pixel 3 XL is at 45%, and the iPhone XS Max still lagging behind at 16%. Wow, the Note 10 Plus took a sizable jump there. It's in first place now, and it's 9% higher than the OnePlus 7 Pro. All right, we're at 45 minutes. Let's do another check-in. The OnePlus 7 Pro is at 82%. The Galaxy S10 Plus is at 57%. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus is at 91%. The Pixel 3 XL is at 63%. And the iPhone XS Max is at 24%. We're on the home stretch, at least for two out of the five devices. The Note 10 Plus is almost there with just 9% left before it reaches 100%. So it's gonna happen real soon. So is the OnePlus 7 Pro, it's not far behind. Disappointingly, the iPhone is very, very far behind. The Note 10 Plus is done at a staggering one hour and two minutes. That's wicked impressive. Now we just have to wait for all the other losers to finish. And the OnePlus 7 Pro comes in second place with one hour and 14 minutes from zero to full. It's been dethroned, but it's a worthy performance indeed. Between the Pixel 3 XL and the Galaxy S10 Plus, slow and steady wins the race. The Pixel 3 was leading the entire time over the S10 Plus, but at the very end, the S10 Plus edged a small win. It won third place at one hour and 43 minutes, and the Pixel 3 XL came in to a fourth place at one hour and 49 minutes. I've been here for three hours. 
All right, guys, honestly, our videographer had to go home and we couldn't capture the final uh, lap for the iPhone XS Max, but the results are last place because it took freaking three hours and 28 minutes to go from zero to full. Thank you. Thank you, Apple. This, this phone costs $8,000 and it took three and a half hours to charge from zero to full. How is that acceptable? I really hope the next iPhone has a fast charging adapter and cable included in the box. Pretty dramatic win! The Note 10 Plus came in first place, and that's pretty amazing considering Samsung has lagged behind all these years in fast charging technology. It's pretty nice, actually. Now you might be wondering, is it worth paying more for that 45 watt charger? It's $50 more. Well, if you frequently charge at 0%, then yes, because you're getting a flood of juice in a short amount of time. The 45 watt charger will charge the Note 10 Plus slightly faster than the 25 watt charger, but the highlight here really is when you're at 0% if you want that extra burst of speed. 